Welcome to the Tech in Focus YouTube channel. In today's episode, we're going to look at the companies making headlines at midday trading. Meta Platforms Incorporated, or Meta as it's known, is on the rise after announcing a dramatic price drop for its higher-end virtual reality (VR) headset, the Quest Pro. Wall Street is getting bullish on the company's potential for artificial intelligence, with Barclays naming Meta as one of its AI beneficiaries, while Morgan Stanley touted the company as a top pick in the space, citing the technology as being at an inflection point. Apple is also doing well, advancing 2.6% on the day after Morgan Stanley reaffirmed its top pick rating for the stock. Noting the catalyst-rich event path for Apple over the next 12 months, Morgan Stanley predicts the stock to rally over 20% in that same period. The retail company Costco Wholesale unfortunately isn't faring as well. Its shares dropped 3.4% after the company reported its fiscal second quarter earnings as missing expectations of $55.54 billion in refinitive data. The food processing firm Hormel Foods is being downgraded to underweight for neutral by JP Morgan, citing the so-called de-risking of Hormel stock. As such, shares for the spam maker are now down 2.7%. The chip stock Marvel Technology is also seesawing sinking 7.3% after the company reported a mixed quarterly performance and issued a weak guidance. It's expecting to earn 29 cents in the first quarter as opposed to the expected 41 cents in street account data. On the other hand, First Solar has seen an increase in its stock, shooting up 5% after UBS named it as a big Inflation Reduction Act beneficiary. Asana is also on an upward trajectory, with its stock jumping 9% after DA Davidson upgraded the software company to buy from neutral. The report cited evidence of growth in active users, and a marked increase in downloads according to Sensor Tower analysis. In contrast, Bumble's stock tumbled 9.1% after the dating app provider, with certain stockholders and its founder, Whitney Wolf Hurd, included, conducted a secondary offering of 13.75 million of its common stock at $22.80 per share. Chipmaker Broadcom is seeing a 5% spike in its stock as a result of their stronger-than-expected quarterly report. Not only did the company earn $10.33 per share on revenue of $8.92 billion, surpassing analysts' expectations for a profit of $10.10 on revenue of $8.92 billion, but it also delivered better guidance than was predicted by FactSet. Integral Ad Sciences stock has gone up 10%, thanks to the digital ad company posting an earnings and revenue beat in its fourth quarter. Revenue was at $117.4 million, more than the $111.3 million projected by street account analysts alike. In contrast, Zscaler's stock has slumped by nearly 10% despite the cybersecurity company performing better than expected in its first quarter. Earnings of $0.37 cents per share beat Refinitiv analysts' expectations of $0.29, cents, but the lackluster billings guidance had Stiefel analyst Adam Borg noting that the expectations were muted. C3.I was also a winner, with its stock surging 30% after the enterprise artificial intelligence company topped Wall Street's expectations in its fiscal third quarter results. Revenue was at $66.7 million, with FactSet predicting a smaller $64.2 million take. For Norwegian Cruise Line, their stock is rising by more than 3%, clawing back from a double-digit drop that occurred after the company reported a wider-than-expected loss for the fourth quarter. JBG Smith Properties, however, is faring less well, due to Amazon's announcement of a pause to construction for its Virginia headquarters. The Real Estate Investment Trust and Builders shares are down 6.2% as a result. The Internet of Things company Samsara also saw an 18.8% .8 spike in its stock as sustainable, higher-than-expected fourth-quarter results, along with management commentary that suggests a path to break-even free cash flow by year-end. And there you have it, the company's making headlines in midday trading. We've discussed which ones appear to be flourishing and which ones aren't so great today. Join us next time on the Tech in Focus YouTube channel for more updates on the hottest companies making waves in the tech world.